Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing great. I love making bread. We love to eat bread, so I love making different types of breads. And today I'm going to share with you one of the recipe, which is a buckwheat bread. But stuff like cinnamon bun, let me know in the comment section if you want me to make this cinnamon bun. I will do a video for you. This is absolutely delicious. No eggs, no dairy, and it is so soft and yummy. But anyway, let's get back to the buckwheat bread. So I am going to show you this recipe on how to make this buckwheat bread. I actually got the recipe off of YouTube and I alter it just a little teeny bit. And I'm going to share that with you. And I'm also going to put the link below the lady who did the bread on YouTube. I'm going to put her video below so you can also check it out. So anyway, I made this bread two different ways. I'm going to be showing that to you. So let's go ahead and get okay. started. So the first thing you will want to soak your buckwheat groats, groats for 24 hours. And then after that, that's how it's going to look like. You're going to rinse it out and you're going to strain the water from it. So I have already soak, pre soak it for 24 hours. I will put all the measurements below. And after you soak it, you're going to add a little bit of water in it and you're going to blend it up. You want to blend it up completely. So when you blend it up, you want to add salt and you want to add some honey, whatever sweetener you have, while you're blending it up, you want to add it to it and just blend it up into like a, like a smoothie light. And after you blend it out, you pour it in a bowl, then you are going to cover it up because you're gonna let it sit for another 24 hours. Yes. So we want it to kind of ferment like a little bit, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? So after 24 hours, this is how it looks like. So after the 24 hours, I blended up half cup of flax seeds and half cup of pumpkin seeds into like a powder form, but you don't have to. And then I put baking half teaspoon of baking soda on it. So that's, that's the first addition that I did because her recipe, she didn't add baking soda, but when I made it the first time, it didn't rise that much. And I forgot to do a video on that, but when you add the baking soda, it makes a huge difference because it gives your bread like a little bit of boost, like to, to, to rise a little bit. So you just mix it up. You mix it up and now you are ready to bake your bread. This is the first recipe. Then I sprinkle some chia seeds on it to bake this particular loaf. And that was pretty much it. So after like 50 minutes or an hour, it was ready and we cut it up and enjoy it. Now with this particular recipe, I love this one. You can keep it for a couple of days and it's still nice and fresh. It's not crumbly. You can make sandwiches out of it. It's just a really good low carb bread and good source of protein as well. You have the buckwheat, you have the pumpkin seeds, you have the chia seeds, you have the flax seeds. You just have a lot of high fiber going on in this particular bread so this recipe i love it so now let's move on to the next one what we did later on we added something else so let's go ahead. so you're going to make the bread the same way the same process and then you're going to add oat fiber so you're going to add two tablespoons of oak fiber to your blend you're not going to add more water you're not going to add anything else you're just going to add the oak fiber and you're going to mix it up well and you are going to bake it so my daughter decided for us to try and add the oak fiber because we we use oak fiber in a lot of baking so i was trying it with this recipe to see how it was going to turn out and so that's pretty much it it turned out great okay everybody's so creative <laughs> Bye bye. Oh my God, you can't just wait five minutes. That's right. See that? Yeah. So this is it. This is how the bread turned out. It's really, really good especially when you put butter on it. Like, oh my goodness, it was so good. But um, so my preference if you are going to bake bread for sandwiches i would use the first recipe because it lasts longer where you only add the baking uh the baking soda and you know the flax seeds and the chair and the chair seeds and, and pumpkin seeds but for this one if you want more of a biscuit type of bread whole grain high fiber buckwheat bread that is low in carb 
this particular one adding the oak fiber is way better compared to if you want to do it for like sandwich bread so this was really good we added butter to it my husband took some to work the kids ate it i mean we we ate it up it was really good just put some butter on that thing have you ever tried bread from the oven hot smelling so good and just add some butter to it listen <laughs> you want to try it bake your own bread I promise you, when you try it one time and put some butter on that bad boy, oh my God, mm, that's it. That's all I want to say. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I am going to tag uh, the lady below who I got this recipe from and I just altered it a little bit. Thank you so much for this wonderful recipe. My family and I enjoyed it and I am going to be making more of this. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Let me know what you think about this recipe.